Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. One morning last week, Representative Andy Barr stood on a podium to celebrate the renaming of Veterans Affairs facilities here for two local World War II heroes, the result of legislation the congressman had sponsored. That afternoon, he toured the renovation of Castle and Key, a bourbon distillery in Frankfurt, Kentucky Mr. Barr talked up the benefits of a cut in federal taxes and his efforts to persuade Trump administration officials to back away from import tariffs that had prompted United States trading partners to retaliate against American distilled spirits, an issue of intense interest in the bourbon belt. They were go-down-easy events for the affable Mr. Barr, Republican of Kentucky, filled with ready smiles and glad hands. But there has been nothing easy about Mr. Barr's effort to win a fourth term. He finds himself in one of the country's most competitive midterm races against a first-time candidate, Amy McGrath, a Democrat, and a former Marine combat aviator whose life story made an instant connection with voters. That has transformed the race into a toss-up in a district that Mr. Barr won by 22 percentage points only two years ago. The incumbent is, by many measures, a good fit for the state's 6th congressional district, moving seamlessly among the country club and horse industry elite in Lexington and in the more rural areas that reach Appalachia. The hallmark of my representation is accessibility, said Mr. Barr, 45. But the dark tones that advertising in the Lexington media market took on last week attest to a different kind of campaign brewing. The ads are similar to ones Republicans have used around the United States, trying to paint Ms. McGrath, 43, as too liberal for the district and a tool of Representative Nancy Pelosi of California, the House Democratic leader. Mr. Barzad also shows Ms. McGrath calling herself a feminist and saying that she voted for President Barack Obama. On Friday, Ms. McGrath broadcast a response, as she stood next to a fighter jet, she asked Mr. Barr, seriously? Is that all you got? Mr. Barr's decision, and that of groups supporting him, to attack Ms. McGrath so early is a signal of the potential peril for the incumbent even in a district that Donald J. Trump carried by almost 16 percentage points in 2016 and it is another signpost of the formidability of female candidates in the midterm elections. That hit, in the middle of August? You've got to have numbers that make you nervous, said Billy Piper, a former top staff member to the Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, Republican of Kentucky.